Hello guys, welcome to an another After Effects tutorial, today we are going to know about the software, what is its minimum system requirements, how to download and install it, and what is the basic functions of Adobe After Effects video editing software. We are also going to know the basic video editing method. So without wasting any more time let's get started. At first, let's talk about the system you need to run this application. If you have a 2 core 4 thread processor, then it's ok, do not need for upgrade, but if you want performance, then at least you need a 4 core 4 thread and above. Now minimum 8 GB RAM is needed, but if you have a 4 GB RAM stick, then you can try for the basics. Now one thing is to be noted, that if you have a 7th generation Intel processor, or a AMD Ryzen 3 or 5 processor, you don't want any graphics card for normal editing. But if you have a 5th generation or Bellow, Intel 2 core processor, then you have to buy a graphics card minimum NVIDIA 1030 at least. And the last thing of the system is a SSD. If you have a hard disk, so you can use the software, but you can feel the whole system too slow. Actually this type of advanced software need a high speed storage device to run properly. A normal hard disk can't afford it, so this is a 10 time better solution, for first upgrade your system with a SSD, before purchase any new processor, RAM, or graphics card. One more thing is the operating system you are using. The Adobe CC 2019 applications, are needed Windows 10. If you have Windows 8.1 and Bellow and a low system, then you can try the Adobe CS applications, if anyone need the CS version please tell me in the comments section, I will definitely try to give the download link. Let's talk about the download and installation. I give a free download link of the After Effects CC 2019 version in the description. But if you want to buy the original setup, then follow my steps. This is the official website of Adobe. You have two options to buy. You can rent this app or you can permanently buy this as you wish. Now I am installing the free one, you can find in my link. Here you can find two folder, first go to the setup folder and open this. Now one thing to be noted, if you have a internet connection enabled, then you can't find any install option. For this you have to disable your internet connection, I have a broadband connection, if you have that one then you can remove the cable or you can try this method. Now try to install, open the setup file it instantly start the installation process, it can take a long time, don't worry about it. After installation it open up automatically, closed it. Now go to the crack folder and copy the DLL file to the install folder of the software. Press replace option. And now you can turn on your internet. After open up this pop up is come, but all time close it because this feature not for the free one. Now this two button is for to create a composition, here you can write title of your project. And also can choose your video resolution, frame per second and the video format.
and you can set the length of your video and the background color. This option help you to fit your video to the maximum size of your previewing section. This is for the resolution quality of the real time view, when you just previewing the edited video, I recommend you to keep it minimum, that look little bit hazy but don't worry it does not affect the final output. Now I am giving you a tips about increase the software performance. Uncheck this if you are using a hard disk, but in case of SSD it's not going to take any effect. This portion is called timeline section, it just like a table where you can put your things and can play with them. This is user library section. Here you can import any of media and effect manually, and can work with them in the timeline section. There is all type of functions provided by the software, all type of operations are here you want to work with. This one is the most important thing, the effect and preset panel, first time it takes some time to open, here you can find all type of preloaded effects can be used to your project. This is the home button, but we don't need it, this is for the online feature. Then here you can find all types of tools. The pen tool for masking, the rectangle tool etc, like the photoshop or paint or any type of common softwares has. This is our composition, now look how to import any media. Here you can select any of your media and can import it. There you can search for any effect you want. Let's see how to insert a text. Right click here then new, solid, and click it. and press OK. This is text tool. Let's write some text, suppose create VFX. This is align tab, using this you can quickly align anything to a right place. After selecting your text you can edit the text style, size and more from this character tab. Now let's see how to animate this. In every media in this timeline you can find a little down logo here, this open up the options for any media. You can see the little clock logo of the front of every character, those are the main thing in Adobe video editing software. Actually where at the timeline, you enable this, it remember the value of this position. Then after some distance, if you change the value then it animate this from its first point to the last point automatically. Let's play it, too slow right? To change this simple drag the second point to close to the first point. And this handle is helps you to zoom in, and out, the whole timeline. You can adjust it as you like.
In case of fed out animation apply the same method, check this to let the software hold the first value and after a distance make the opacity value to zero. Like this you can try this type of other animation. Let's import some videos. Drag this to the timeline. Now we are going to know, how to add those video together, with a nice feed in out effect. Take the second one to the end of the first one. And zoom in the timeline and place those like this. Now to give transition animation select the video and change the opacity value like this. You can try those effects also, the method is same. Now to add a background audio, simply insert a audio and just drag it to the timeline. Now if you want to manage the amount of the original video or the background music follow my steps. Now this is good. Okay. 
That is for today guys, I hope you learned something about video editing from this video. If you enjoy today, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Actually I am new in YouTube, so those are help me to reach a better position. Thanks for watching. This is a fire environment, if you want to know, how can I mat it with after effect, then go and check out my previous video, link in the description.